In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create this design. Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, I'll show you how to create this design using the very popular Spiral Betty, which now came out with a new design called, still under the Spiral Betty site, but it's the dotted Betty. I'll show you first how to create the image and then we'll go into the Cricut Design Space portion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. If you've seen my previous videos, you start off at this page, which is the spiralbetty.com website and usually do the spiral, which looks like this here. So you've, if you've seen my other videos with lots of different projects, everything is a spiral betty. If you haven't checked those out, they're pretty cool. I love doing these designs. Spiral Betty came out with a new technique, which is called dots. So I guess it's not a spiral Betty anymore. It's a dotted Betty. And if you click on spiral, you've got the round image to upload the image. If you click on dots, this becomes a square. So the dots are going to be within this square. And you kind of go through the same process and I'll show you in this one if you haven't seen the spiral ones. And then I, I will upload this image. So I'll just choose the file and there it is. It's within the square. Now, if it's something smaller, you can enlarge it if you'd like. I'm going to keep it at this size. So I'll check off OK. And then once I'm here, I will change this to black and white. Now you could always go back to the spiral with that same design, but obviously this is not fitting because it's round. So I'll go back to the dots and I'm on the black and white here. And I'm simply, simply going to just download. Now, one other thing you can adjust if you'd like is down here, which is the number of dots. So if you go to this and then the dots are going to be much larger and obviously not a very sharp image. If you go to this end, the image is much sharper, but you're going to have microscopic dots. So I'm going to leave it where it kind of defaults, which was, I believe, right about there. And then I'm just going to hit download. Now on the download, you can go and buy Betty a coffee for creating these designs. What I'll do is I'm going to click on show advanced options. And then what I want to do is clear background. Now this is something that you could do in Cricut Design Space and possibly Silhouette. I'm not familiar with their software, but you can clear the background here or clear it in the software. And then we just click on download. So now we're pretty much done with this part of it. I already have it here, but I will show you the process. If I click on new project and then I'm going to upload and I'll upload the image that I just created. And there it is. We're just going to hit complex, simple. It doesn't matter. The background is already cleared. There's nothing that you need to do to it. So if you see this type of background, it's already transparent and there's nothing that you need to do. So we're going to click continue and it's a cut image. I am not printing and then cutting the image. I'm just going to cut it. So I'll upload and then here is my design. I will click on insert image and I'll zoom out on this. Now, if I look at this, it's 19, almost 20 by 20, which obviously is not going to fit in a Cricut machine. So I will shrink this down to about 11 and a half inches to make sure that it fits in the print. Now, the other thing that the one thing that I did with the shirt that I designed was I wanted to add some text to it. So I will add it right up here and I'll just click on text and I'll add stay magical. Now for font, I will click on font and then if you click on this current fonts, then it's going only going to show you fonts that are available so that they're current when you insert them into your project. And if you're not sure what that is, I do have a video link right above for it. You can check that out, but you don't have to move the letters 
in order for them to be connected, which is a nice feature. And these are all the options for current fonts. So you can pick whatever you would like. And let's just say it's this. So I clicked it right here. And now one thing you want to do with this is you don't want these to be cut separately. So I'm going to click on this, click on the text and hold down the shift key and then click on the image. And what we want to do is we want to weld this together. So you want the two things to become one image. And then you know that it's done when this pops up as weld. So when you move this, it's welded together and that's how it's going to cut. And at this point we are done with manipulating the image and we're just going to click on make it. One last thing that you need to remember to do is mirror this image since there is text. Now, if you decide not to add text, there's nothing that you need to do. You just print it out, you know, and that's the direction it's going to be facing. But if you wanted to f the text to make sure that this is done, then I mirror it because I'm putting it on a shirt. So it's an iron on and the image is going to be reversed when it's cutting. So we'll just click continue and then it's going to send it to the Cricut machine. So this is the process for the Cricut design space portion of it. So it finally finished cutting. It took a little over an hour to cut this because I made it the maximum on the mat here. And now we just have to weed this. It's a little hard to tell right now where all the dots are, but I'll just start off in the corner here and carefully peel back. And instead of pulling straight up, I'm gonna pull right against it this way, just so I can make sure that the dots stay on here. And this is what it's kind of looking like. I did leave it on the mat just to help with holding this in position. But again, make sure instead of pulling straight up, you're pulling right against the vinyl. And I did this with iron-on versus just permanent vinyl. Um, I'll have to try that with a different project and see how it goes. But I was afraid that all these dots would not stick to, would not stay put on the permanent vinyl. Just go slowly to make sure that the dots don't lift up as you're pulling on this. You could probably use this part as a stencil for another project. This is a lot of dots. Now this is where the word is starting to be and that's where I welded the word to it. So don't expect it to be coming up with the dots as the rest of the design here. Okay, so this is pretty cool too. I'm sure this is, the, if not for a stencil, but this would be fun to add to some cards for additional texture. Don't throw it out if you can use it for another project. I'll take it off this backing and there is the not spiral Betty I guess it's the dotted Betty so there's the image and I'm gonna apply this to a shirt at this point point. and I have the shirt I will press this when I put it in the heat press but just so you see what it looks like right against the white and I think it's a fun fun design for sure so good job spiral Betty dotted Betty <laughs> All right, so I'll press this on and then I'll show you what it looks like as a finished project. And then once the shirt is pressed, then this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I really like the little tiny polka dots on here and then the larger ones for the design. And I do like welding a word into the design because I think it just adds to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Would love to see your project in my Facebook group. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next project.